hi guys welcome back to my channel so if you want to know how to get this perfect base for your makeup then just keep on watching so i'm starting off with primer i'm using the milk makeup hydro grip primer and you don't want to rub it into your face that's the first tip you want to use a beauty blender and blend it into your skin and I'm just doing that with a beauty blender and I like to let my primer sit on my face and just like really like you know get into my pores and just really you know marinate <laughs> and then I just work on my eyebrows so I don't do anything to my eyebrows as you can see that is just, I just conceal them and then what I was putting on my brows was a brow gel and it's clear so it's no product added that just makes them stay all day and yeah that's the end of the eyebrows and I'm using my Juvia's Place foundation to blend in my foundation with the beauty blender and I'm using the butt of the beauty blender as you can tell I use the butt of the beauty blender for the primer and for the foundation and then I go in with the Juvia's Place Concealer that I love so much. I love the foundation and the concealer. And I know I might look a little orange right now. I got some new lighting. And so, yeah, I'm just playing with the lighting. But I promise y'all, it all comes together. So you want to use the butt of the beauty blender to get like bigger areas like your chin and your forehead and then I use the tip of the beauty blender to blend out the concealer under my eyes and you see I'm bringing my concealer in closer like to the side of my nose like really bring it in I'm not stopping where my nose stop I'm bringing it on the side of my nose the concealer that is to create a natural contour I don't contour my face at all um, just because nose contour can go left really quickly so you really got to be careful with it so this just bringing the concealer closer creates that natural contour I always look up when I blend in my concealer so just to make sure it gets right under my eyes and then I just go around my nose you want to really make sure that you get into like the creases of your nose and really get you know it really smooth under your eyes so looking up helps me when I'm blending in my concealer under my eye and when I'm blending in my concealer on my nose I pinch the um, tip of the beauty blender to make sure that it's really steady and it's a straight line as you can see I kind of put too much concealer on my nose but I mean it's cool it works blending one-on-one -on -one. so you want to take the beauty blender no product added once you're done blending everything out and you just want to go around the edges you want to use the butt and just to make sure that everything is blended out really nicely this is going to make everything look even and not where you can tell like this is where I con you know this is where I highlight this is where I put concealer you, you want it to all look like one face and I'm adding another layer of concealer but this is totally optional you don't have to I just like to be super beat and super like like snatched so I just sometimes add an extra layer of concealer and yeah you just want to make sure everything is blended out really nicely and I also just make sure you blend just blend make sure your beauty blender is damp that's another tip your beauty blender has to be damp it can't be dry baking now we are going to set under the eyes and I look up that's uh, to make sure that I'm really getting right under my eyes I look up and you want to make sure you get an even layer just so it looks really smooth and you want to get an even layer of setting powder you don't have to if you don't like to bake you don't of course don't put this much setting powder on but I bake because I have chicken grease skin and Rudy's chicken skin and it just it's so oily so I have to bake um, but you don't have to do that much and I just let it sit and then after I dust it off of course and then I go in with the bronzer my second favorite part of my makeup routine is bronzer I love bronzer I'm so obsessed and Fenty Beauty was in their bag when they created this bronzer 
I love, look at it. Bronzer just really ties everything together for me. And I just go ape shit with the bronzer. Like, look at me, adding more bronzer. Like, bronzer is life. I love bronzer. It just gives you that, it, it's just, I love bronzer. But my first, my favorite part ever of makeup is, of course, blush. Y'all know I'm so obsessed with blush. It's just, ugh, it's just so stunning. Like, blush really, I really look like an angel. Like, it's just so cute. And let's talk about complexion. Complexion one-on-one. -on -one. When you're picking out a foundation, it is more ideal. If you're stuck between two, you want to pick out the darker one rather than a lighter one because your concealer is already light. So if you choose a concealer that's light and then you also have this bright foundation, you're going to look too bright. So you always want to go with the darker shade. Of course not too dark, but you always want to go with a darker shade rather than a lighter shade when it comes to foundation and then your concealer. And then your concealer will even it out. Of course I looked a little dark at first, but then my concealer, once I put that on, it tied it all together. More tips would be to exfoliate your skin. Always before you put on any makeup, exfoliate your skin. Good clean skin is the key to a flawless base and having perfect bomb ass makeup. And you also want to learn your skin type. Do you have dry skin? Do you have oily skin? And buy makeup products that cater to your skin type because that's what's going to make your makeup look really good. And get a primer. Get a good primer that caters to your skin type because a primer will set the tone for your makeup as well. So a primer for sure. I hope you all found this video helpful and let me know in the comments what you think of this bomb ass my not fucking makeup. And I will see you guys in my next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Happy 2020!